what's going on everybody this is DK Dynamite and today what I have for you guys is a video going over the possibility of more chaos maps coming to Black Ops 4 Zombies because of the addition of this new Eye of Apophis melee weapon that they added I think it was about two weeks ago in the same update where they also added in the micro MG 9mm SMG when that update dropped unexpectedly people are opening up reserves and getting their hands on this melee weapon there is no way that you can actually purchase it via a special order or a certain bundle you had to just rely on good rng to get your hands on it but when the pick a weapon bribe came out with the recent black market revamp i decided to trade in my 50 reserve cases to get my hands on this since i'm only missing the vmp and the micro mg is already far superior than the vmp so i have no problem waiting another month to get my hands on that last weapon but in terms of the eye of apophis itself what exactly is it so in the background here you'll see plenty of gameplay of it being used with in blackout obviously it's a one hit in multiplayer but in blackout could be a two hit if they have level three armor i also recorded some phenomenal gameplay of it within multiplayer but i'll be saving that for a future video today's will just focus on blackout but the thing about the eye of apophis is that it literally stands for chaos which is crazy so this is clearly tied to some lore of greek mythology and even egyptian mythology that is perfect for the chaos storyline not ether so when looking up information about the Eye of Apophis, here's what I found. We have information from many websites here. The first one is gateworld.net. The Eye of Apophis is a powerful crystal originally possessed by Apophis himself. The eye is powerful on its own, but when joined together with five other crystals, it becomes a weapon of mass destruction. So this is kind of funny because it reminds me of the Infinity Gauntlet from the MCU, right? Where you can have one stone on its own and it's incredibly powerful, probably one of the most powerful artifacts facts in the universe but when you combine it with the other infinity stones and you have all six in that one gauntlet you are literally a god so that's kind of like what the eye of apophis is we then have information from several other sites like wikipedia and even uh toregypt.net and what i found is that apophis is actually one of the enemies of ra yes the sun god ra that we know from the chaos storyline he's also a perk statue he is actually the enemy of apophis so i'm sure in a future egyptian map they would have done for chaos preferably the library of alexandria they could have easily explored apophis a lot more and ra probably would have been the focus of that easter egg or probably would have helped us in some way to defeat apophis so some other information here is that uh with the possible exception of a 10 only during the amarna period no single egyptian god was considered to be really all powerful many lived with the threat of destruction and even one of the greatest of egyptian gods faced such threats every single night. Apophis was the great adversary of the sun god Ra and was the very embodiment of the powers of dissolution, darkness, and non-being. Hence, he was sort of a void or black hole, forcing those he swallowed into that non-existence which the Egyptians feared so greatly. Uh, we then have information as well from the same site uh, that says that Apophis was sometimes equated with Seth, the god of chaos, yet the nature of Apophis seems to have always been dark and threatening, while Seth could at times be beneficial in some texts seth was even enlisted by the sun god in order to defeat serpent according to some mythologies apophis hypnotized ra and all of his entourage who sailed with him with the exception of seth who resisted the serpent's deadly stare and repulsed him with the thrust of a great spear wikipedia then says a pep also spelled a peppy or apophis uh, was the ancient Egyptian deity who embodied chaos and was thus the opponent of light and mat, order truth. He appears in art as a giant serpent. His name is reconstructed by Egyptologists as it was written and survived in later Coptic as can't even pronounce that word there. Uh, Apep was first mentioned in the 8th dynasty and he was honored in the names of the 14th dynasty king, Apepi, and of the greater Hyksos king, Apophis. We then have information from ancient.eu and it says, Apophis is the great serpent enemy of the sun god Ra in ancient Egyptian religion. The sun was Ra's great barge which sailed through the sky from dawn to dusk and then descended into the underworld. As it navigated through the darkness of night, it was attacked by Apophis who sought to kill Ra and prevent sunrise. 
On board the great ship, a number of different gods and goddesses are depicted in differing eras, as well as a justified dead, and all of these helped fend off the serpent. Ancient Egyptian priests and lay people would engage in rituals to protect Ra and destroy Apophis, and through these observances, link the living with the dead and the natural order as established by the gods. Apophis never had a formal cult and was never worshipped, but he would feature in a number of tales dealing with his efforts to destroy the sun god and return order to chaos. Apophis is associated with earthquakes, thunder, darkness, storms, and death, and is sometimes linked to the god Set, also associated with chaos, disorder, storms, and darkness. Set was originally a protector god, however, and appears a number of times as the strongest of the gods on board the sun god's bark, defending the ship against Apophis. So hopefully I didn't bore you guys too much, but many websites do list Apophis as the snake god, part of the underworld, the believes in chaos, and is of course the arch enemy of the sun god Ra, and was a malevolent force who could never be entirely vanquished. So what's really interesting about this is that I could perfectly envision Apophis having a big role in a chaos map, and I love the part where it talks about how priests and lay people would engage in rituals to protect Ra, so that could be part of the easter egg, right? Our chaos crew could do some rituals for Ra, right? It would be the trials of Ra to protect him against Apophis, and obviously Obviously, it says that, you know, you'll be linking the living with the dead. So that's where zombies comes in perfectly. So now I really understand how chaos came into existence, how Treyarch was like, let's do a story that involves a lot of Greek mythology, Egyptian gods, and all these trials and rituals. Now I see why they're able to link that with something like zombies, because the undead have been a pretty relevant factor in a lot of this mythology from way back when. So really interesting stuff. Again, people do say that Nine deals with the trials of Ra, and that's technically true, but at the same time, Nine is a hallucination, and you do please all of the gods within that main easter egg, so the map isn't solely focusing on Ra himself, but still technically true, but I'm assuming that in the future we might get a map, you know, one that was probably already planned, that does solely focus on just Ra himself, and focuses a lot on Egypt, and then Apophis, but obviously in the other maps we have the Trials of Danu for Dead of the Night, we have the Trials of Zeus for Ancient Evil, and the Trials of Odin in for Voyage of Despair. So kind of all over the place here, but I do think a map just about Ra would make the most sense, especially taking place in Egypt. And that leads to my next point that I believe the Library of Alexandria, which is a map that Medusa talks about going to at the end of Ancient Evil, is a map where this melee weapon would have absolutely worked. And I think the map could have took a similar approach to the Frozen Dawn from World War II zombies where melee weapons serve as the wonder weapons on the map with upgrade quests that can make them stronger and be a part of your race to the boss fight on the map itself. There would probably be four different melee weapons, similar to how there were four different god hands in Ancient Evil, and I think that probably would have worked the best. And again, Library of Alexandria was definitely a map that was at least somewhat in early development. I'm not sure how far in development that map got, but there was also rumors of a Paris map and some other stuff like the Pyramid of Giza as well. So definitely some cool concepts that were thrown around for the future of the Chaos story, but because of budget cuts and because of Call of Duty, 2020. I'm just not sure where that leaves the chaos story, but this is another reason that Time Attack would have been great in Black Ops 4 Zombies, as I talked about in a previous video. It would have been great to be able to experience these in Zombies, so maybe one day they'll add these to the mystery box as part of a kind of a wellness update for Black Ops 4 Zombies. I'm just not sure, but it does suck that they have these great melee weapons that you can really only use in multiplayer straight away, while in Blackout you have to look for Blackjack stashes, and then in Zombies you're just shit out of luck. You just can't use them. But uh, the other possibility about the Eye of Apophis is that it could be a hidden side quest in one of the Chaos maps already, possibly on Ancient Evil, since that map doesn't have any side quests whatsoever. No shield upgrade, no other weapon quests whatsoever. You just have the dormant hands you can find. You can then upgrade those to the God hands, and then upgrade those God hands one more time to the Exalted hands. So I guess you can say that's technically part of a side quest, right? Because you do have to get the redeemed hands, right, for the gauntlet, for the main easter egg, then you have an option to go for the exalted hands, which technically is a side quest, but is tied to the actual wonder weapons on the map, so I wouldn't really say it's a side quest, you know, I would say a shield upgrade, or a melee weapon, or something entirely different that serves as a side quest, but I love Ancient Evil very much, I think it's the best chaos map we have in Black Ops 4, it's definitely the pivotal moment of the chaos story when people started to get interested, so that map deserves a lot of props, but it just 
just sucks that it's probably one of the few maps in Treyarch Zombies history that really doesn't have much substance to it besides the main Easter egg or unless you're going for high rounds or something, but there just isn't that much to the map when it comes to side Easter eggs. But there honestly aren't any leads to support this and the map has been data mined to hell. I'm sure by now people would have found a model of the Eye of Apophis many months ago and then you know we would have had a lead from there to say, okay, there's a hidden weapon on Ancient Evil, let's go hunt for it. But that actual you know model has never been found and it was just added in recently with the new update. Um, but in terms of like a very hidden side Easter egg, similar to the Monkey Bomb upgrade on Gurad Krovi, that was hidden so deep in the code that I don't think anybody data mined that and still hasn't, I believe, you know, I hope I'm correct about that. But, you know, I don't think the odds of that happening again are very likely because it seems like, especially with Modern Warfare 2, everything is there in the code. You can see everything that's in the current update and, you know, so far nothing has really been deeply hidden for Black Ops 4, but it's safe to say that this probably got planned for a future Chaos map, and depending on how far in development that Chaos map got, we may or may not see this melee weapon in a potential Season 2, or, you know, some type of Zombies Chronicles 2. They may feature both Victus maps and maybe an extra Chaos map or two. We'll just have to wait and see. But the thing is, if this melee weapon was made for a future Chaos map, then I'm assuming the Chaos map got a little far into development if this melee weapon was 100% finished, but there's also the odds that they just made this for a simple update but i find it hard to believe that post the actual uh in-game cycle right post year one they still worked on new weapons like the micro mg the eye of apophis when you know back in black ops 3 once the game was out of its cycle i think they added in maybe like one or two more weapons then they just brought back a bunch of og weapons right kind of like remastered them for current gen they didn't really work on anything necessarily new besides zombies chronicles of course which took a lot of work but you know other than that when the game's out of its cycle you would expect you know kind of ports of older weapons remasters not necessarily new content and this is by far new content with a lot of detail so did they just add that in for the sake of putting it in reserves or is it hinting at something more it could be hinting at something a lot deeper maybe Treyarch wanted us to do research on the eye of apophis to understand where the chaos storyline may be going after ancient evil so i do hope ancient evil isn't the last chaos map though i think people really underestimated the power of this chaos story and type of mythology that was truly behind it and again people would have a hundred percent gave the chaos story a chance if it wasn't for stability at Black Ops 4's launch that really undermined Treyarch's ability to keep people invested during Season 1 of Black Ops 4 Zombies. Treyarch really couldn't flush out the chaos story the way they wanted with Season 1. My fingers are crossed that Season 2 gives it another chance or maybe in Treyarch's next game they'll somehow incorporate the chaos story in there but uh, in a perfect world, the game would have released with very few stability issues. People would have latched onto chaos after maybe three maps or so. It doesn't take one map to get latched onto a story. It takes about maybe three to four. You know, that's just how it was with Ether 2. Then the Black Ops Pass could have fulfilled its original plan, which was to keep Season 1 all chaos, then make Season 2 all Ether, and they would probably have added in like another Season Pass for the next Ether maps or something like that. You know, I'm not sure how that would have went down, but Ancient Evil is almost like the dirt Reese or Keener the Toten of the Chaos Story, where loads of people start to notice the rich story behind the map and realize that there's much to speculate about when it comes to future DLC maps. And with all this mythology, there literally are endless possibilities as to where they can go with the story. There's so much left to cover when it comes to chaos. But let me know what you think of this down below in the comment section. This has been DK Dynamite. Is the new Eye of Apophis melee weapon tied to a new chaos map? Was it just made for this update, or will it be featured in a future map, or could it even be a hidden side quest that we just can't data mine you know everything's on the table right now we just don't know what the truth could be but really hope you've enjoyed and peace out everyone